Hey there, boys and girls of YouTube world. Today we're over at Handsome Rob's. We're gonna help him put some glass in a 71 Ford custom cab. He customized it. So he took a 2005 perfectly good rust bucket crew cab Ford with a uh, the, the cam phaser amazingness that is a 5.4. And he took a bunch of 67 to 72 Fords. One of them is in the video. We tried to get the 360 running. And he grafted everything right duff check it out did you do anything with the front fenders i had to take five inches out of the front fender up there no nope. back here right back through here. you can't even tell that's how good that's how poorly lit his shop is you yeah. can't you can't yeah. even tell if it's dark enough you won't ever notice right he's gonna make the hood flip forward right yeah and it's kind of a Madeira maroon and white, but it's actually Rust-Oleum. What color? Cabernet. C Cabernet. Cabernet. <laughs> so it's, I mean, he drinks the champagne of beers. Only the finest pilsners are <laughs> drunken. Drunk. Drunken. And uh, he left, he grafted the firewall out of the pickup in there, and we're gonna put the stock Ford glass in it. He's got the stock carpet in it. This is all rattle can, and it actually Looks pretty decent. I think we're gonna start with the back glass. Oh, third brake light, I didn't even know that. Look at you. The doors are stock, oh, other than he got rid of the wing window. He, he just closed it off. And then obviously he stretched the cab. Part of the reason he did that is so that he could use the regular length box because this crew cab short box was longer than, he didn't want to shorten the frame. He's got his fuel filler neck inside of the toolbox so he capped off the original fuel filler neck and then got this guy off ebay or amazon and uh gonna have the fill in the toolbox that's why his drive shafts out painted everything all up filled in the tail lights and she do some grafting back here or something with the belt line yeah but i added i got rid of the the running light here and i added the, the bullet oh that's what it is that's what it is but you didn't stretch the box at all Oh, I did because I needed to make three, to make up three. Oh, so you stretched the cab so and stretched the box. It. Yeah. Because you thought it would look silly to have like a nine and a half foot box. Well, I, if I was a little smarter, I would have added the extra three inches to the cab, but I wasn't smarter. Oh, so, so if you were doing it over again, you'd have. I would have made the cab a little longer. What's this hole back here for? That's where the fuel will go, the, the fuel fill. Oh, so it. Comes in the toolbox and then comes out the front of the bed and yeah, then down. It's gonna come down like this, down, out, and back and around. Oh, so you're not you don't you don't have a hole in the floor, it's in the front of the bed. No. Schwanky. Schwanky. Alright. Well, let's do this. He thinks I'm the glass expert, so he's like, You're gonna come do this. Yeah. I'll even buy you supper. But then he forgot to buy me supper. You said you were bringing a lunch ball. <laughs> it's not a lunchable it's a uh Beerable? no no what do they call those uh what's the fancy term for a lunchable yeah uh char charcuterie board oh. <laughs> it's, it's a charcuterie board yeah hey watch out for that electrical connector that's gonna get run over by that wheel that's a nice cart you got there you like that i do i, think I'm, I do like I'm myself an amateur carpenter in my spare time jack of all trades master of none Ooh, the, oh, you got the headliner, overhead console. You got everything. We're going to screw all this up when we put that windshield in. You know that, right? Duff, he probably spent hours cleaning and prepping that carpet. No. Not really. How many miles on this rig? Oh, the whole five has just over 200,000. She's got 200K on her. Oh, but he put new spark plugs in it, right? Yeah, I, I replaced the plugs in the the uh, coil packs while I had it all naked like that. So naked, just the way I like them. Mortsky said <laughs> that he hated his life when he had to change out those um, on a different project he worked on. So I thought, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to take advantage of his stupidity and uh, <laughs> uh, be smart. If you've never changed spark plugs in a 5.43 Bell Ford, it's an experience. How many of yours snapped off? I think six out of my eight snapped off. Yeah, five of them, I think. 
So there's a so you spin them out and a spark plug comes out, but like the porcelain and the very tip stays in there. So there's a special tool you thread in there, and it like reverse thread grabs it, and it's like it sounds like crunching bone. So you're crunching this porcelain. It's it's a terrible, terrible design and a terrible job. And so when you do it, put the good spark plugs in, and plan ahead and buy the tool. So we're gonna start with the back glass. Is that uh, what we determined? Yes, I think so. So we got. The stock glass, we got new seals, and we got a piece of string, and it's just gonna go swimmingly. You got some uh, mm -hmm. window cleaner, glass cleaner. Who do we got? What's this? Ooh, true living, nothing but the finest. Compar That's Dollar General's best. <laughs> you, you ask the lady, you're like, hey, I'm putting some glass in, what and should I get? And when I say best, I mean the cheapest. And you, and the only thing probably. No, they had Windex, but I'm like, I ain't going name brand on that. <laughs> no, sir. All right. And we got all of Duff's friends here. What, what, what are all these? We got Lily, the white one, Ivy, this one over here, and Daisy somewhere. What's this? Right oh, there's here. Daisy. The Daisy Daisy's got the ball. Yes. Daisy loves the ball. She won't leave us alone. All right, let's do this. There you go, I don't know what we did, but this top lip here was rolled underneath and was keeping us from going all the way up once we figured to walk that out. She came in there pretty good. Now we just gotta do a little cleanup and she's ready to roll. So we're gonna, Rob's gonna have to take her back out because he put the writing in backwards. Idiot! Idiot! Thanks for pointing out my shortcomings. Yeah, he likes it when you point out the Mishaps in his body work too. Good enough for the girls we go with, right? Giddy up. What do you girls think, huh? You like putting glass in, Duff? Absolutely not. We're gonna end her tonight. We gotta pull the dash out of this thing in order to get access to the bottom side, so he's gonna do that. Not my problem. Your problem. What do you think, Duff? Glass sucks. All right, we'll be back. But it sounds, and then the other thing is we gotta wrap the seal around it the other way. You gotta start at the bottom and work your way up. That's what the professionals do, so. We should probably do it that way. Wannabes. Look at that. He's even got himself a wire on there to hook up his antennae. Thinking with your dipstick, Jimmy. Think with your dipstick, Jimmy! Well, we're back working on the Cabernet, Cabriolet. Handsome Rob got the dash out. He said it was real fun, but on the positive side, he got the box elder bug that was stuck in the uh, gauge cluster. And most of this is never going back together. Like these, uh, 
Those are those those are yellow. That means they're for the uh, airbag. Yep. We're gonna need that for sure. All right, they was hitting the dash before, so let's see if it goes back in there now. Oh, and we got we got the suction cups from the old Amazonia. It's gonna make it way more gooder, right? Lily and Ivy and whatever your name is. Daisy, get it right. Daisy, Daisy, me rolling. Oh, he's got the headliner out too. All kinds of room for activities in this cab. We gotta start it on the bottom here, but you can see there's this lip right here. I think we gotta peel this outside rubber down over that lip, and then it'll drop down enough to go down on the top side here. You can see we're just about below that drip rail. Once we get her down there, then I think we gotta work this. There you have it, one used glass install. You can hardly even notice that and the scratches and the crack over in the corner, but yeah, I guess a whole lot of patience. But we didn't even really use the rope, just kind of worked our way around. Uh, kind of like the back glass, you gotta work, this lip gets caught in the top, so you gotta fold that flap over the top side. Same thing down here, this lip wants to get pushed underneath, so you gotta work that out and then Working around the bottom, and then after we got it all in place, I took a wood block and pushed it down over the uh, pinch weld. So yeah, tech tip of the day, hire out your glass installation, because uh, it sucks. But I don't know, probably only took us an hour, so two and a half hours and everything. I'll send you a bill. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Yeah. All right, on to the next one. Now I'm roped in to put a headliner in. Uh -huh. Great. Man, would you look at that plush headliner. It'll be so much more awesome when you get the DVD player installed up there. Very nice, I like. Whoa, whoa, very nice. Remember, it doesn't matter how you get it on, so long as you're having fun. Glass is so much fun. See you next week.